two thousand years later. Six and a half hours later. A few inches later. Day two, day three, day four. A few moments later. One eternity later. Three days later. Twelve seconds later. Three twenty-eight a.m. Three weeks later. Many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Eventually. Uh, 12 o'clock midnight. Two hours later. Meanwhile. 8.01 p.m. The next day. Later. 20 minutes later. Six hours later. Several bad puns later. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. If I was to have told you in 2015 at the Nintendo said that they would not be sharing any NX news at that E3 that today, September the 19th, 2016, we will still be in the same place, the same spot, the same position when it comes to NX news and that position is not knowing anything. Would you have believed me? Would you have believed the words that was coming out of Leveled Head's mouth if I would have told you back in 2015 that September the 19th, 2016, you will still not know anything about the NX. Not only will you not know anything about the NX, you will not know when you're going to find out anything about the NX outside of it's going to be discussed in 2015. 16. That's it. We don't know a month. We don't know a date. We don't know when in 2016 that information will come. We just know it's supposed to come in 2016. If I would have told you that in 2015, would you have believed level head if I would have said that? I seriously doubt you would have. Now, there's been a whole bunch of accusations and finger pointing and folks getting frustrated and mad at each other especially over here in this nintendo camp you know you got the group that gets upset at the folks who in their minds are being impatient right but then you have the group that's supposed to be impatient getting upset at the group that has patience seemingly now i'm not going to get all into that because in my opinion no one can say that if you own a Wii U that you are impatient, especially at this point right now, right? And no one can get mad at those individuals that also seem to have a little bit more resolve and patience than others. But no one has not been patient when it comes to Nintendo and if they purchase the Wii U, they have been very much patient. Uh, that, that's, that's not even arguable. We have been patient. But that's not the question. The question is, is Nintendo wrong for still holding out on NX News? That's the question. You know, when you got Nintendo Ultra freezing himself until 2017, March 2017, because he don't want to uh, live through this long wait for this information. He said, look, let's just freeze ourselves for 29.99 I think he said let's just freeze ourselves until March 2017 when Ultra is doing that you know this thing got real now I thought that was funny that's why I'm bringing it up but is Nintendo wrong for making all of us whether you have the patience to wait whether you feel like this has been long enough is Nintendo wrong for this long um, holding of information that they've been doing with the NX. Now, I had this argument on the Live and Level Gamers podcast. We undressed it out. And I was of the mind that Nintendo was wrong. My boy John Shaw said, no, they're not wrong because they only said 2016. They did not say when in 2016. So technically, no, Nintendo is not wrong. And I have to backtrack. Nintendo is not wrong for still in September uh, 19, 2016, 
2016, the fact that we know nothing about the NX that is concrete, that is that is confirmed, they're not wrong because they only said we will discuss it in 2016. They did not say when. So they can wait to December the 31st and technically they will not be wrong. But they are. Indeed, they are. Inconsiderate. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say it. And anyone try to argue this now is just being delusional, just being totally naive. Nintendo has been totally inconsiderate when it comes to the situation and the plight of Nintendo fans, especially the ones who were bought in with the Wii U. You are being inconsiderate. That's what it is. They're not wrong. They're not wrong because they only said 2016. But they are inconsiderate when you look at the fact that when cats are forced to buy games that they were not planning on buying, games that they were not interested in, games that they typically would not play because there is no game to look forward to on the Wii U and there is not much coming in the future and you are forced to go and find stuff to play on your Wii U, that is that to me and you still refuse to share information about the it X to me, that is very inconsiderate. When folks are pushing indies, now don't get me wrong, I know a lot of you guys love indie games and y'all, ooh, thumbs up the indies. I don't give two cents about indie games. I know they're cool, I know they're good, but I didn't buy the Wii U to play indie games. Indie games is the type of thing that you do while you enjoy what you bought the Wii U for. Oh, I have the luxury of going to buy these in indie games while I'm enjoying all these top-notch offerings from Nintendo and second party and third party if they decide to release stuff. That's why you bought the NX. You did not I mean the Wii U. You did not buy the Wii U to be bragging about indie games. I'm sorry, folks. That's just a reality. That's the truth. And if you can't handle that truth, shut it up, move on, slap yourself, and let's go. So... I don't want to hear nothing about no indies. Don't try to act like indies is going to replace top-notch Nintendo games. They're not. Sorry. They, 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 they're cool. And don't tell me Virtual Council and all those games are going to is a replacement as well. We have played them games time and time and time again. Yes, I enjoy them, but I did not buy my Wii U for those games. I bought them for top-notch Nintendo new games. Now, I understand the situation that Nintendo found themselves in. I understand why the Wii U is where it is. Some to blame on Nintendo, some to blame outside of Nintendo. But I understand the situation. I understand the circumstances. I understand why they had to cut the Wii U lifespan short. That's, but that still doesn't negate the fact that with the NX news and the fact that we don't have much to look forward to on the Wii U, that we're really waiting on the NX news, even though they're not technically wrong for not with sharing this news yet, they are being inconsiderate, understanding all the situations and circumstances that have led up to this situation right now. We don't have much to look forward to, folks. And don't sit up here and act like, and all you guys, and I'm, 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 and it's funny to me, you know, everyone loves the, the way they Nintendo flags and how proud they are of Nintendo and how and defend everything that they do. And I and I've done the same thing, but I see a lot of you guys playing other consoles and other systems, or whether it's Steam, whether it was your Xbox, whether it's PlayStation, y'all are playing other systems but yet and still come out and scream and holler about how these other systems and platforms suck and, and y'all still praise Nintendo, but y'all ain't playing Nintendo. So so don't don't give me that nonsense. If I see you on Steam, oh yes, you playing Steam. Why are you playing Steam? You got the Wii U. I thought that's all it's about. You all Nintendo or nothing, but you playing Steam. You playing all these games on Steam, but you all Nintendo. Confusion to me, you know what I'm saying? That's an oxymoron. That's that's, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, <clears throat> I ain't here to argue that either. But Nintendo has been very much inconsiderate. 
Um, hopefully we hear something here soon. I'm gonna have to be like Nintendo Ultra. I'm gonna have to go ahead and freeze myself <laughs> to March. <laughs> hopefully it comes in March. I don't know what's going on. It, it, it's I, I I don't know. I don't know what this is. One of those positions and uh, situations where I literally don't know what is going on with Nintendo right now. I mean. They're doing great things, don't get me wrong. I mean, Pokemon Go, I mean, uh, Mario Run, uh, Super Mario Run and all that with uh, Apple and all that. Cool. I mean, that's dope. And and it seems like the 3DS still has a lot of life left in it. That's really cool. But for us who own the Wii U, Nintendo is being inconsiderate, folks. And we need to be honest about it. At At least we can all agree to that, can't we? Can't we all agree that Nintendo is being inconsiderate when it comes to NX information and the fact that the Wii U is dead by their own hand? They took Old Yeller out back and took him out his misery and put him out his misery. They did that. So wouldn't it be better and a little bit more responsible if you know that you have killed what everyone owned and put their money and paid their money for. I mean, I was going, I want to show y'all how many games I have bought for the Wii U. And, I, and I'm happy that they, these great games. But at the same time, I invested into this system. And this, and this lifespan has been cut short by the creator of that platform. And they're withholding information as if it's all good out here. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. It's about to be October. We still don't know anything about the NX. I know everybody's saying we're supposed to hear something uh, maybe this week. Hopefully we do. I don't know. But just let me know, man. Has Nintendo been inconsiderate? Because they're not wrong. They are not wrong for not showing off the NX. They're just inconsiderate. And I want to know your opinion. Has Nintendo been inconsiderate when it comes to their fan base and NX news? Till next time, folks, this is Level Head on the go. Deuce. Backing like a bitch, dog. He's over.